information. From TV23 Studios in Sublet, this is High Plains Today. By golly, it is. Welcome to High Plains Today right here on TV23. You know what? It is Wednesday, March 7th, 2018. On today's show, I'll be talking with Anita Wynn. She is with Pioneer Electric and Josie Gretz. She is with Pioneer Communications. They got health fairs and annual meetings and all kinds of stuff coming up. We're going to let you know what it's all about. In the meantime, let's see what's happening. Well, just about 50 wildfires were reported in Kansas in the last two days. Now, fires were reported in Ellis, Sedgwick, Reno, Harper, and Butler counties, and that was just yesterday alone. The Kansas Division of Emergency Management reported an estimated 25,000 acres have burned over the past two days. 19 fires have been extinguished, six almost out, 17 are still kind of active. And as you can see here, six Blackhawk helicopters, two fuel trucks, and 29 soldiers were deployed to help with fighting fires. Now, the biggest fire was yesterday in Ellis County near Hayes. Corey Braun of Victoria, she's the one who posted this video, of Black Hawk helicopters helping fight the fires. An estimated 100 firefighters from Ellis, Rooks, Russell, and Trago counties battled the blaze that stretched for approximately five miles across the northeastern section of Ellis County and the town of Catherine. Ellis County Director of Fire and Emergency Management, Darren Myers, estimates the blaze is currently pretty much contained. Now, here in southwest Kansas, a wildfire in Clark County burned at least 1,600 acres on Monday and 10,000 hay bales burned Sunday in Stevens County. And because of the wildfires, a Firehawk helicopter firefighting crew from Leesburg, Florida, has staged at the Guymon Municipal Airport at the call of the U.S. Department of Agriculture Forestry Department. The crew stands ready in case of a wildfire. Last Saturday, a large portion of the Oklahoma Panhandle and the Texas Panhandle were placed under elevated to critical fire weather conditions. And, you know, around 1.30 yesterday afternoon, crews from the Ford County Fire and EMS were dispatched to a structure fire on Highway 56, just south of Dodge City. Members of Station 1, with assistance from the Dodge City Fire Department, were able to suppress the flames on the house, limiting the fire to a couple of rooms. The investigation is still ongoing at this time, and the good news is there were no reported injuries. Independent gubernatorial candidate Greg Orman announced this morning that his running mate and choice for lieutenant governor on an independent ticket that will bypass the party primaries and qualify directly for the general election ballot in November, State Senator John Dahl from Garden City has decided to leave the Republican Party to become Greg Orman's running mate in the independence bid to become the next governor of Kansas. The announcement was made this morning in Garden City. And the House Republican leadership offered an outline yesterday of a school safety proposal that includes $5 million for infrastructure upgrades, development of statewide security standards, and authorization of firearm courses for students in kindergarten through high school. The funding would be allocated by the legislature to the Kansas State Board of Education for distribution as grants or matching funds. House Speaker Ron Reichman said local school districts would be asked to step forward to, with detailed solutions to identified security deficiencies at schools. Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach opened his defense of the state's voter registration law yesterday in federal court, introducing evidence and estimating 18,000 people are illegally registered on the state's voter rolls. Now, this week's bench trial with, will test Kobach's ability to support his claims of widespread fraud and demonstrate the best way to solve the problem is forcing potential voters to prove citizenship with birth certificates or other documents. Now, representing the League of Women Voters, the American Civil Liberties Union, filed a lawsuit in 2016, and an appeals court blocked the law pending the trial's outcome. In opening arguments, ACLU attorney Dale Ho said Kansas Security and Fair Elections Act that took effect in 2013 disenfranchised tens of thousands of Kansans. Compared to the 1.8 million Kansans who are registered to vote, Ho said only 127 non-citizens are known to have tried to register since 2000. 
and candidates for governor, you're invited to meet and greet forum on Monday, March 26th in the Dodge City Community College Theater. A reception will start at 6.15, followed by the forum at 7. Sponsoring the event are Ford County Farm Bureau, the Ford County Republican Party, and the Ford County Democratic Party. And here you go. Kansans weren't the only ones who experienced the high winds yesterday. Reba McIntyre posted a photo on her Facebook page from the Liberal Airport with the hashtag, just flying through. The photo shows McIntyre trying to stand firm in the wind. The caption reads, just a little windy here in Liberal, Kansas. Thanks for the super hospitality. You know what? Thanks for stopping by, Reba. All right, you know what? It's not going to be near as windy today. That's kind of a good thing. It makes my hair look a lot better. We'll be back with a look at the forecast. Maybe, just maybe, we might have some precipitation next week. You're watching High Plains Today on TV23 with host Chris Jewell. TV23's internet service and 4G live streaming provided by United Wireless. Coverage you deserve. Service you expect. United Wireless. Soldiers in the Army National Guard serve to give back to their country and communities. Their part-time commitment qualifies them for an array of benefits, such as affordable health and life insurance benefits, education benefits, including tuition assistance, student loan repayment, and GI Bill programs, a retirement plan based on part-time service, and VA home mortgages. Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about all the benefits available in the Army National Guard. College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. Heck, you could earn your degree while wearing your PJs or while eating BLT with your baby. Because you don't go to college, college goes to you. Complete your courses around your schedule. That's a Independence. That's Independence University. No alarm clocks, no snoring roommate, no loud parties keeping you up all night, no note on your door telling you to sleep somewhere else. Instead, learn online at Independence University. Get your degree, but keep your life. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. Learn online from professional instructors with real work experience. You get professional support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Independence U. For an independent you. 1-800-234-3025. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. He's picking up the phone. Oh, no, not consolidated credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They'll pay off their debt in no time. Call consolidated credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 1-800-380-8565. That's 800-380-8565. Call now. Now, the local weather forecast for the High Plains. Hey, not bad out there today as we look off to the northeast over the Sublette metro area. You know what? This looks a lot like yesterday, only there's not a lot of dust in the air today, so this is a good thing. Let's take a look at the readings here at the station. Currently 45 degrees, relative humidity is pretty low still, 27%. But look at this, wind southwest at 6. Yes, single digits for the wind. Barometric pressure is falling. As we look at the current temperatures around the viewing area, look at that. Everybody is in the 40s except you get out to Elkhart and Guyman. They're both pushing into 50. It's not going to warm up a whole lot today, but as that upper level low moves out over, I mean, that baby is clear out over the Great Lakes now. That's going to let this high pressure come in, and it's going to allow our winds to go back around to a southerly direction. We're going to warm up. All right, looking at the current dew points, everybody is dry, 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 so... Still, even though there's a lot, a lot of wind out there, don't be burning anything today. Don't be flicking your cigarettes out the window or anything like that. Looking at the current wind speeds around. Now, winds are starting to go to the southwest, as you can see. They're not going to get much higher than this today. They're going to be south-southwesterly. You can see where that front is starting to move through because we've got some wind still out of the northerly, northerly direction in the eastern part of the viewing area. All right, yesterday... 
We got to 50, Garden City Regional Airport. 88 was a record back in 1972. 17 was the overnight low, minus 10 back in 1948. Yeah, I'll show it to you anyway. There's nothing in it. Bucket is dry. All right, for today. Now, it's only going to get up to 56, but look at these winds. It's going to be west, southwest at 11. Now, tonight, they're going to go back around to the north, but tonight, they're going to come back around to the southeast, but there's not going to be much of it. Low overnight low of 23. Winds will be out of the northwest going to the southeast later on. Then tomorrow, here's where we start to warm up as that high pressure starts to take over. Winds are going to be out of the east-southeast early in the morning, switching back around to the south-southwest. 67 for the high, then tomorrow night, overnight low of 31, mostly clear. Winds will be out of the east and then out of the west as Friday morning comes upon us. And look at that. On Friday morning, 73 for the high. It's going to be 68 on Saturday. Then we got a slight cold front that's going to move in. Now there is a slight chance. Now 20, don't get your hopes up. 20% chance of precipitation. That baby is too far out to know which way it's going to track yet. So we'll have to see what happens there. All right, let's take a look at where our storm spotters training is going to be. This is our good friend Jeff Hutton, National Weather Service, Dodd City, America. He's got two shows today. At 3 and 7 o'clock, he'll be at the Garden City Fairgrounds. And then tomorrow, he's going way out west, Syracuse. Remember, that's at 6.30. That's mountain time, 7.30 for the rest of us. All right, and then uh, next week, he'll be here in Sublette. And then on the 13th, he'll be in Johnson at the 4-H building. On the 14th, he'll be at the King's Center in Jetmore. And on the 15th, he'll be at the Scott City EMS building. All right, that's a look at the weather. Stick around. We'll be back with Anita and Josie right after this. College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. That's Independence University. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. 1-800-274-8142. 40 million. That's the number of free phones still available and the number of how many Americans can still get prescriptions free. Free could be wonderful. That's why I'm still working at 77 years old to pay off my prescriptions. I needed to have a, a prescription filled and I had to leave because I couldn't afford it. Call now and see what's available for you. Free prescriptions. Over 10 million people get prescriptions free and the program has expanded so another 40 million can. Free dental. Over 15,000 dental have provided over $330 million in free dental work, free cell phones. 40 million free cell phones are still available with free minutes and more. Free cell phone would change my life right now because it is something I cannot afford to get. Medical supplies like back braces, knee braces, and diabetic supplies may be covered too. The free RX Plus hotline has saved callers over $12 million on their prescription costs. These free programs are now available to 40 million more people. Call now. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. Yes, they look like debt warmed over. <laughs> He's picking up the phone. Probably calling his uncle to borrow money. Thank you for calling Consolidated Credit. Oh, no, not Consolidated Credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one more payment. They pay off their debt in no time. Put, Put down, down the phone. phone. Put down the phone. Order a pizza. With extra red sauce. That Consolidated Credit makes it too quick and easy to get rid of us. Thanks to Consolidated Credit, there can be life after. After that, call Consolidated Credit now and get your life back. Because debt sucks. Call 1-800-357-5733. 800-357-5733. That's 800-357-5733. Call now.
Hi, we're back. You know who's in studio today? Mm -hmm. Anita Wendt. She's mm -hmm. Vice President of Energy Services. Right. And Josie Gretz, she is a marketing and mm -hmm. PR representative, yeah. Pioneer Communications. Mm -hmm. So we got Pioneer Communications, Pioneer Electric. Right. If you're both here, that means one thing. It's Annual meetings at the Grant County Health Fair <laughs> coming up. The right? health fair yes. is on the schedule. <laughs> and it's on St. Patrick's Day? Yes. It is. It is. March the 17th. You know, we tell people always, they can always mark it on their calendar. Third Saturday of March, come out and see us. All right. Are you going to have, like, green stuff? Hey, we could. You should. I think there should be green <laughs> yeah. cupcakes or something. Or blue, yeah. After, not blue. <laughs> no, we're not doing the Pioneer <laughs> co Communication Colors. It's St. Patrick's Day, Josie. You're right, you're right. Come, Don't on. Think, come on, Josie. All right, so, but now, in the last couple of years, we've talked about this health mm -hmm. fair and the annual meetings being coinciding. Right. So, but the health fair is the big deal because it's first thing in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. What time does it start? 7 a.m. 7 a.m., and they start yes. lining up like early 30, don't right. they? Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, early. Yeah. Because you've I, I've seen pictures, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. If there if if there's somebody you haven't seen in 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 Ulysses for a long time, you go to the health fair. They'll there. be there, right? Guaranteed. Yeah. They'll yeah. be there. Right. Okay. So let's before we get into the annual meetings, lunch, annual meeting stuff, prizes, right. giveaways. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about health fair. Absolutely. Okay. Because so, it starts at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, March seventeenth, okay. St. Patrick's Day. Everyone can mark it on their calendar. Seven a.m. And that's over at the Grant County Civic Center in the Big Walker Auditorium. That's a big building. A big building. So we can fit building. everybody in there, no problem. So things to note in advance of the health fair, of course, uh, Pioneer Electric and Pioneer Communications uh, provide a free general chemistry blood profile. So that's at our expense. We want everyone to come out and take advantage of that. But a few things you need to do in preparation first. You need to be fasting for your blood work. No they have to do, breakfast they have before to you do, come. They, okay, so this no is breakfast. when we need green eggs and ham. We must. St. Patrick's later. Day. After. Later. After. Brunch. That's right. Okay. So, yeah, so fasting. Come fasting. But, of course, you know, if you are required to take some sort of medication from your doctor, please still make sure that you're taking care of all of your needs on that. Also, please come well hydrated. Start a couple days in advance. You know, we could all be standing to drink just a little bit more water. Your weather said dry, okay? It is dry. Drink it more water, dry. everybody. So it really is a benefit for those full botanists. If you can come well hydrated, it makes that blood work a whole lot easier. You've never done this before. Have never. You? No, every year. Never done this. Every year. So make sure that everyone comes ready to go. So 7 a.m. we get started. That health fair goes from 7 until 1130. So if you're not one of those early risers, that's okay. All right. Still come on out to the health fair. We'll be doing those blood draws until 1130. Um, in addition, now, of course, I told you that general chemistry profile is free. But you can also purchase a couple extra tests if this is something that you and or your doctor are interested in you having. And those are the PSA test. So that's that blood work for the prostate. The A1C, uh, that's your glycohemoglobin. I know some of the doctors, especially if you're a tendency to be diabetic, want you to have that one. And the TSH. Now, that's the one that checks your thyroid. If you okay. want to buy any of those tests, each of those individual tests I listed are $8. That's not bad. Eight a piece. That's cheap. Exactly. Okay, it's not cheap. It's very inexpensive. It is. It is. And we can take um, just... $24. You're not even going to spend $25 on so those So be tests. prepared, though. It's either cash or check. We won't have any ability to take credit cards. So cash or check, and your check's going to be made payable this year to Pioneer Electric because we're running the health fair. So all oh, the rest are. of that the chemistry is free. How about that? All right, I do. I do like the one. The one thing on here are the do's and don'ts. I like this one. Do go through your morning hygiene routine. So you can shower, you can brush your teeth, put on deodorant. Yeah. they would greatly appreciate we would. that. We would. Because there's going to be a lot of people in a closed space, right? That's right. So you don't want anybody out there stinking the place up. No, please no. All right, yeah. so please do that. Uh, so now, how many times you've been doing? You guys have been doing this health fair for a lot of years. We have. How long? I mean. We don't. It seems like Lots. forever. Yeah. Lots? <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of years. Okay. But now, and the, you're not going to walk in there and go, oh, there's only one table doing stuff, right? Right. That's correct. All right, when, so, you, when you come in, now you're getting in there, you're, you're fasting, you've done all your hygiene business, and you're coming in to the, into the Walker Auditorium, what's going to happen is you're going to get into one of six lines. Six. Six. Mm -hmm. We actually increase the number of lines to help everybody go a little quicker. So you're going to get up to the front of that line. The registration folks are going to help you with your little paperwork, whatever you need to fill out. If you want to purchase any of those additional tests, you can do so at that time. 
or send you around the corner, and then one of those phlebotanists that are back there, <laughs> draw your blood for you. Okay. All so right. there's no special lines because, they're, again, they're six. Everything's going to move right along. Now, when you get done, we realize, again, you didn't have any breakfast. But that's all right because the hospital auxiliary ladies are there. They're going to have some juice, some muffins. So if you need to sit down and get a little something to eat, I don't know about the green eggs and ham part. Green muffins. Green muffins. <laughs> hospital auxiliary <laughs> ladies. Idea. Green muffins. Bing, bring, you need green to have muffins. some green muffins or cookies with green frosting. See? Okay. I'm thinking. Get you going. Or you could have some Lucky Charms because they didn't okay. have the clovers in them. Maybe. So Set them in a little cup. See? I'm just giving you Feel free Options. to use any of these auxiliary ladies. Right. I'm just so saying. So then after everyone had an opportunity there at the health fair to do that, we always have... Um, some great booths and vendors that are there offering up free, oh, yeah. I forgot free about information. That. That's right. Free information. As that. you go around, there's mm -hmm. lots of opportunities at the health fair. Do you know we have 27 different vendors that are going to be out there giving out free healthcare information this year? That is a whole civic center full of great okay, business so information. Okay, like, so who, who's going to be there? Okay, ready? Are I'm ready? ready. Alcoholics Anonymous. Okay. The Alzheimer's Association. Compass Behavioral Health. Bob Wilson, Grant County Hospital. Those are the auxiliary ladies, remember? Muffins, coffee, juice. Uh, Celebrate Recovery. Connect Ulysses. Farm Bureau Financial. Zeal for Life. Genesis Family Health. The Genesis Family Health Early Detection Works. And the Genesis Family Health um, Solidable Kansas. That's Healthy Living. And also Lifetime Smiles. That's the dental information. Grant County Extension. Grant County Health Department. Grant County Recreation, Harvest America, Heartland Cancer Center, Kansas Children's Service League, KDHD, Norma's Healthy Skin, Pioneer I, Electric. So who's not going to be no, there? No, no, there's okay. more. Just wait. we well, got to hurry up and because we're running out of time. Okay. The Russell Child <laughs> Development, Scott County Hospital, the Lions Club, United Healthcare, and don't forget Young Living Essential Oils. Okay. 27 booth vendors. Holy moly. Busy right. morning. Okay, mm -hmm. so, but now now we're going to get over here, Josie, because when you get through with all that, you guys are going to have your mm -hmm. annual meeting, yes. right? Yes. Being a cooperative, you have to have an annual meeting. Right. So you're doing that at 10.30? 10 10 a.m. Yes. All right. 9.30 is registration, and so 10.30 or 10 a.m. will start. And so we'll, we'll have our CEO report from Catherine Moyer, and we'll talk about 2017 financials. Um, elect our board directors, and then we have a few topics that you're not going to want to miss. We'll talk about, um, well, Kat will talk about our cable rates and why they increase. And then yes. we'll also be talking about some video um, offerings, products coming, and so you won't want to miss that. All right. Yeah. Then, after, uh, when you guys get done with your meeting, then Pioneer Communications is yes. sponsoring lunch. Lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have a so web barbecue. Lunch. They never disappoint. You're not going to want to miss that either. So we got brisket, mashed potatoes, all the sides, fixings, dessert. So come mm -hmm. hungry. So free lunch Whoa. now. Yes. All right. So you get that now. You get free lunch. Free lunch. It's and free then lunch. after you get lunch and you're thinking about a nap, no, 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 wait, because there's more. <laughs> there's always more. So you can come on over now. Pioneer Electric's going to start their annual meeting at one o'clock. So registration will be going on while you're getting that great lunch, mm -hmm. right? And then you can come on into the next meeting. Now, don't forget, it's really worthwhile to show up at your Pioneer Electric and Pioneer Communications meetings. Yeah, you guys give away stuff. We give away oh, stuff, yes. Josie. Yeah, so we do. don't forget that coming into mm. both meetings, you're talking about just a prize just for your attendance. Josie's going to have some good stuff at the door. I'm mm -hmm. going to have some great stuff there for you, too. But we're not going to tell you. All you right. got to come All out right. and see us. you got to... Get it present to win. Be present to win. Be present to win. And right. then you can get a little raffle number because there's some door prizes. prizes. Yes. We're going to give away a TV. You guys do a TV. A TV. A Roomba. Everything. A Roomba. Oh, that's one of those electric yeah. things that goes the around your house vacuums. while you're yes. not there. It's perfect. Yeah. You just put it on your app. Okay. All right. So this is all going to happen on right. Saturday, March mm -hmm. 20, 17th. Yep. St. Patrick's Day, by the way. Yes, it is. Auxiliary ladies, green cookies. Um and then you can get all your blood work and all kinds of stuff right. done. You can have uh, some lunch or whatever. No, you're going to have a meeting right. with Pioneer Communications. Right. Then you're going to have lunch, brisket, and all kinds of stuff. Then you're going to have, have meeting. another meeting. But in between all that, during the meetings, you're going to be giving stuff away. See? So it's overall good morning. All right. You know? The, 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 the 17th, right? 17th. Right. All right. Starts and the doors open at 7. So if you want to get there and, and see everybody, you need to get there early, right? Come on in. All right. That's right. Anita, good to see you. Josie, thanks for coming Thank by. You. Absolutely. All right. I appreciate you. Yep. Stick around. I'll be back with oh, a little bit more right after this. Are you getting the most out of your Medicare plan? Are you sure? 
Many people with Medicare are eligible for plans that include extra benefits in addition to those found in original Medicare. Benefits like dental, vision, and prescription drug coverage. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free with no obligation to enroll. In addition to hospital and medical coverage, at no extra cost, you could also get coverage for prescription drugs, dental, hearing, vision, and more. In many areas, plans with benefits are available with $0 copays for many services, $0 monthly premiums, or $0 deductibles. That's hospital, medical, prescription drug, dental coverage, and more included in one plan with premiums that may be as low as $0 a month. Call now to see if you're eligible to enroll. The consultation is free and there's no obligation to enroll. Call 1-800-521-3583. That's 1-800-521-3583. When you have credit card debt, the debt suckers, high rate and high pay, never leave you alone. Debt is really sucking the life out of them. He's picking up the phone. Oh, no, not consolidated credit. With one call, they can lower their credit card rates. And consolidate their bills into one low payment. They'll pay off their debt in no time. Call Consolidated Credit now. Because debt sucks. Call 1-800-380-8565. That's 800-380-8565. Call now. College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. That's Independence University. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. 1-800-274-8142. Okay, now, Saturday, March 17th, Grant County Civic Auditorium Building. Health Fair starts at 7 o'clock. 10 o'clock, you can get, you're going to be the uh, Pioneer Communications meeting. They're giving away door prizes, people, when you register. And then after that, Pioneer Electric is going to have their meeting. You're going to get lunch between that. You're both going to register. You're going to get free stuff and be eligible for a TV and all kinds of stuff. So get out to that deal. All right, let's take a last look at our... Weather, hey, it's warmed up 2 degrees, 47. Relative humidity has gone up just a little bit, 26%. Winds are still out of southwest, 7. Barometric pressure is falling. All right, as we head into the weekend now, it's going to be a little cooler today. It's going to start warming up tomorrow. Keep up to date with the latest information from TV23 on our Facebook page, KDGL TV. What if everything worked like those other guys? Welcome to Offenburger. If you would like to place an order, press 1. Please hold. You will be connected to the next available drive through attendant. Please place your order. Uh, yeah, for I'll Offenburger, get it. press 1. For orange soda, press 7. For fries, press 15. For tomatoes, press 2. For ketchup, you have pressed an incorrect button. Please hold. Welcome to Offenburger's. If you would like to place an order... At Pioneer Communications, you can talk to a real person ready to help. Call today for service you can rely on. Do you want to feel connected, informed, included, inspired. So when important things happen, we're here. Your local TV and radio broadcasters. America's number one source for news, weather, and information on every screen in your life. We are broadcasters. Always here for you. Wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. College is great, but before you enroll, which do you think is a better way to earn your degree? Live on campus in a dorm where you can't sleep, with a roommate you can't stand, attend lectures that you can't hear, with cafeteria food that you can't eat, or learn online at Independence University. On the porch with your puppy, in the kitchen with your kitten, on your bed with your bunny, your campus is wherever you want it to be. Heck, you could earn your degree while wearing your PJs or while eating BLT with your baby. Because you don't go to college, college goes to you. Complete your courses around your schedule. That's a Independence. That's Independence University. No alarm clocks, no snoring roommate, no loud parties keeping you up all night, no note on your door telling you to sleep somewhere else. Instead, learn online at Independence University. Get your degree, but keep your life. And you'll also get a laptop and tablet to use in school, and you can keep them when you graduate. Learn online from professional instructors with real work experience. You get professional support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Independence U. For an independent you. 1-800-234-3025. Portions of TV23's Internet provided by SWKO Wireless Internet. 
covering the high blend.